Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome to a new game for the channel. This is Bloodlust 2 Nemesis. I was approached by the developer of this game to give it a shot. And uh, it's something a little bit different for us. This is a hack and slash dungeon crawler action RPG. This will be available on Steam Early Access uh, in the coming days, I would think. Let's go ahead and start a new character. Got our character creation screen here. Uh, here's our character here. We can rotate them. Let's go ahead and choose a male. And we've got some attributes that we can divvy up here. We've got five points to spend right now. You can randomize stuff. Uh, let's see here. We've got some classes down at the bottom. Warrior class is determined when the player has more strength than dexterity or charisma. Classes are not selected but rather earned depending on amount of class specific stats. Which Warlock class is determined when the player has more Charisma than Dexterity or Strength? Okay, so more Strength, more Charisma, more Dexterity. The Thief. Okay, let's, um, let's see, more Charisma, more Strength. Let's try a Witch. Witch Warlock. Uh, gains plus five Charisma. Okay, cool. So we got, uh, ten Charisma, I guess. Let's, um... Oh, and these are the uh, the base stats, I guess. Okay. Let's boost our charisma up a couple more. Maybe intelligence and persuasion. Let's see. What does it say? Determine dialogue and intimidation choices. Intelligence is ability to gain talent points. Vitality is your max health. Charisma, the amount of max spirit force. Dexterity. Dodge, lockpick chances, strength, ability to equip stronger items. Pick our hairstyle. Alright, let's just quickly pick something here. For us, that looks good. Hair color. We'll go blonde. We'll go there. We can choose some lipstick color, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll just go without some eyeshadow okay we'll go with some eyeshadow and then a face tattoo oh no we can do an arm tattoo as well right on is that all the tattoos is there one on the other arm no that's on the eye all right let's go through this arm tattoo okay cool clan affiliation the Bugatti clan, led by Giggler, are located in their abandoned dungeon in the heart of Chinatown. Their skill set includes such skills as Vampire Gaze, Transform, Poison Slam, and Night Strike. Zenchi. Zenchi clan, led by Largo, are located in the hotel near the south side of downtown. Their skill set includes such skills as Secret Sight, Shock, Intimidate, Disarm, and Call Crow. Wesp. Led by Ninji, are located in the catacombs near the yard. Their skill set includes such skills as Fire, Backstab, Rat Swarm, and War Shriek. Lots of different skills here. The V Tao clan, led by Wu Tang, are located in the sewers under the asylum. Their skill set includes Freeze, Trap, and Summon Spider. Ubantu? Who's this? Uh, led by Brain, are located in the abandoned data center in the north part of downtown. Skill set includes War Totem, Blood Strike, and Shield Bash. Alright, what are we gonna go with here? Vampire Gaze. Call Crow. Shock, Intimidate. Let's try the Zenchi one. This one sounds kind of interesting. Plus 5 rep with Zenchi Clan. Alright, let's name ourselves. Uh, we'll just go Nomis Plays. Alright, good to go. Start. And single player. So, there is a multiplayer option here, but you do need to be above level 1. So that might be something that we can check out if we enjoy this game. Rise and awaken. There we are. Looks like a witch. A 
Okay. Let's uh, take a look here. The basics. WASD to move. Mouse to look. Left button to attack. Right button to use skill. Mouse wheel to scroll through all skills. Escape key for main menu. Quit options, etc. Be sure to talk with the strange lady before leaving. Alright, well, let's, um... Let's see here. We can jump. Crouch. How do we talk? E. Does this flesh suit you? What's going on? Where am I? Find Valrock. If you have any questions, he's in the warehouse. You can get to it through the sewers. Thanks, I will find Valrock. Uh, tell me more about the Wraith. Jesus. What's going on there? Uh, can I continue talking? Oh. Okay, hold on. Find Valrock if you have any questions. He's in the warehouse. You can... Your hunter instinct will be to fight it. But don't bother, as it cannot be destroyed. If the Wraith takes you, you will end up back here and will most likely need a new body. I can usually match your old body fairly close with the new one. However, we'll lose any tattoos or piercing slots acquired. Okay. Thanks. So we need to go to the uh, the sewers, right? Meeting an old friend. Let's see. Well, if there's anything else in here we need to grab. Let's head out into the world. Taking items on the ground. Press E to pick up any item nearby. Okay. So let's grab all this stuff. And let's check our inventory. Alright, so we got some equipment slots here for armor, I would think, accessories, Q to swap weapons, okay, identities, or identify scroll, right click scroll then move scroll icon over object to identify and click to identify, okay, we have a small axe, 3 to 12 damage, plus 2, and a health elixir. Alright, let's put our health down there. And we'll put our axe... What's this damage? 2 to 10 damage. Let's switch that out. There we go. Double up. And... Got a couple keys automatically used. Okay. Cool. Let's check it out here. Equipping inventory. After taking the item, press the I key. Oh, we already figured that out. Okay, cool. Switch weapons. All right. Finding secrets. Use vampire gaze skill to find switches. Fly through the grate in the lower wall. Red glow straight ahead and touch the exposed wire to short out the power. Then look for a nearby wall. Now open, revealing a secret room. All right, where's vampire gaze here? Vampire Gaze, the blue one. Okay. Let's go inside here, short out the circuit. Oh, wait. Is it down here? I want the light, I think. I want this one. Okay, did we do it? Oh, yeah, we did. Cool. Uh, yep, yeah. control crouch. We figured that already, too. What we got here? A bayonet, baseball bat, and a long trench for female, yes. Okay, cool. And we got a chest. Uh, okay, I guess just take all. Take a look what we got here. A derby hat. All right, cool. Let's wear it. Can I wear it? Item is unidentified. Oh, so we have to identify this, I guess. Uh, right click and then identify. Okay, there we go. Armor plus six. And now we can wear it. Firestone amulet fire mace. Oh, we have to identify all these things before we can use them. Is that right? 
Yeah, I have to identify it first. Equipment requirements not met. Fire resistance properties. Let's check out this fire mace. Requires 18 strength. Okay. Where's our character? We have 11 strength. Okay. All right, all right. Well, we have a hat. Health and thirst. Health, spirit force, and thirst are shown in the upper left corner. How high your health regenerates depends on your quenched thirst. For example, if your quenched thirst is only 50%, then you will only regenerate up to 50% max health. You must bite to feed and quench your thirst, allowing your health to regenerate higher. All right, so our thirst is 72%, is that right? How to bite. Select bite using hotkey or scroll through the skills on the mouse wheel. Get near the victim and hold right mouse button to drink blood. Release right mouse button to stop drinking. If you drink too much, then you will sire. If current bite skill level allows it. If your bite skill is too low to sire, you will kill the victim and lose XP. Alright. Uh, let's see. Bite. Uh, bam. Calling your minions. If you have sired, then you can... Call your minions instantly by pressing the insert key or send them away to heal by pressing the home key. They only heal when sent away. Okay. Oh, okay. I think we, um, we're 100% thirsted. Quenched. Um, how, okay, so if I keep going, will I sire her? <clears throat> oh no, she died. <laughs> too much. Okay, okay. Too much, too much. Who's this? That doesn't look like a, a girl. Read the journal. Uh, okay. Now, if you ever lost, not sure what to do, open your journal by pressing the J key. Uh, open skills, sire, trees, talents by pressing the K key. Open character screen by pressing the C key. Alright, so our journal. I'm meeting with the old friend. Uh, the rock should be expecting you, and it's inside the abandoned warehouse. Move through the sewers beneath this island. Well, it's probably a rock down there then. Okay. And our skills. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, go down to meet this guy. Oh, no, that's a ghoul. <laughs> that's not our guy. <laughs> And they burn away. Okay, cool. Spirit force taken. I thought that was our guy. Apparently not. Some cash. Okay, anything else? Nope. Magnified moonlight, seven meters. Oh, right there. Did you know that moonlight is actually sunlight reflected off the moon? Yes, we did. And when it's magnified through a special lens in the ceiling, it can be as bright as the sun and as deadly to the undead. Perhaps there's a switch to close the panel in the ceiling. Okay. Um, secret sight, vampire gaze. <coughs> nope, nope. <laughs> You don't have to stand directly in it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Is there some sort of switch somewhere up here? Entrance to the asylum sewers. Okay. Let's check it out. Where is my minion? Minions won't automatically follow you into new areas. You have to call them. Okay, well, we don't have any minions. <laughs> <laughs> Get them all. <laughs> uh, 
All right, what have we got here? Emerald amulet, uh, stakes, some rustic boots. All right, let's check this stuff out. Uh, looks like that we can wear the boots. Five armor. Okay. Requires eight charisma. Let's wear that. We've also got a long trench that we picked up earlier. We might as well wear that. Or maybe we can't because it needs to be a female. Okay. So stakes. Ammo for crossbow. Uh, regenerates your magical influence. Okay. Okay, so the red stuff we need higher skills to use. These ones we need to identify. Got it. Can we explore down here? We can, okay. Let's check out the main area first. That's where it wants us to go. But I think we want to kill some more uh, little minions. There's more coming. I think we leveled up. Alright, let's check out our skills here. We got 10 stat points. Alright, so if we go back to our inventory here. To use these, we need 18 strength, 21 dexterity, 13 strength. So let's, let's see here. We could level up our strength and then be able to use both these weapons. 2 to 13 damage, 14 to 17. Okay, or this one is 2 to 14. Alright, let's do our strength to 18. Uh, nope, this character. Alright, strength to 18, and then we'll start leveling up dexterity too. Alright, cool. Good. Let's go here. We can now equip this guy. So let's switch this one out. And should we try this one? 2 to 13. 3 to 12. Yeah, we'll go this one. It's only got 10% durability left, though. All right, cool. Let's try this one. Uh, silver bullets. Right. Where else can we go here? Oh, that was a different guy. Oh, we got an identity scroll. Okay, cool. Let's, um... Oh, we got a better baseball bat here, it looks like. Or is it? I'm not sure. Let's uh, research one of these. Known to increase intelligence. Let's research that. Did we not pick up an identity scroll? I thought we did. I thought it said um, identity scroll there. Uh, skill points. We have two skill points available. Okay, so. Show skills, show available skills. All right, so hold on here. We got skills, we got talents. We got our sire tree. Hold on. Did we not kill that girl? Is she with us now? Hold on. Oh, she is. Okay, cool. Uh, so we go home to send them away and start to bring them. Oh, and there's that identity school. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we actually have a sire. Uh, let's go back here. Alright, so how do we... How do we do stuff for these people? No points available. Okay. Talents. We have one talent point available. 6% more damage with ranged weapons, 11% faster moving, 41% less duration when burning, 6% less spirit force with spells. Let's do the swift. OK. 
Okay, 105. Back to our skills here. That's our reputation down there. Show all skills, show available skills. Intimidate. Intimidate using an invisible telekinetic throat grip, levitating your enemies in the air and forcing them to quickly decide their loyalty. Transform into bloodthirsty form, allowing you to travel faster with greater strength, but at the cost of getting thirsty quicker. Warp, teleport uh, to the roof sledges and hide platforms. That sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's add that one. All right, so that, okay, so that gives us another skill down there. Cool. So secret site, we can upgrade this one, I guess. We can go 501 meters right now, and then we can double that pretty much on the next level. Oh, and warp, we can do 161 meters now. We can do double that to the next level. I will, I will bite, oh, hold on. Allow us to sire one minion. So one more, I guess. Poison slam. Oh my god, so many things here. Shield bash. War totem. Place a totem for radial damage to enemies. Summon spiders. War shriek. Summon spiders. Two spiders allowed. Zero bite damage. Disarm. Oh my god, okay. Night strike. Warp to enemies and strike a lethal blow. Spirit force cost is based on percentage. Okay. Let's increase our bite. Alright, cool. So that's that. Let's go, Emily D. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. I think our our, uh, our lady died there. Our sire. Let's keep dodging the attacks. Wow, I can jump. Whew. Sewer creature destroyed. Well, that took some of my health away for sure. You didn't give me anything? Should probably head to the main quest here pretty soon. What's this? Is this like a headquarters? Oh, this is the other clan. Right, let's not go there. Let's get, let's get some more minions. Oh god. Okay. Give me your loots. More silver bullets. That's it. Uh, to the asylum. Okay, well, let's go to the main quest. Now, can I bring my sire back? Yes, I can. And do you have any skills? Any points? No. XP, 71 of 1,000. Okay, so it's going to take you a while. All right. Cool. Back to the main quest. What do we got here? I guess that's him. Probably. Barack. Are you in there, fledge leader? I mean, hunter. Miko did good. Very good. Your flesh looks great. Though not sure why I'm so surprised. Since she worked wonders with me as well. How do you feel? Uh, weak? Yes, you look much younger than I remember. Did you feel weak after the process too? Sure. That's normal. 
will feel better after you build up the vessel's skills and attributes a bit. Okay, cool. Uh, you want to explain why Miko put me into this body of a vampire? It would appear a shadow hunter destroyed a vampire emperor and an entire sect has made some of the other bloodlines a bit nervous. Oh, that, yeah. I can see where they might be a bit nervous about that. In about ten days, you're going to be greeted with over 9,000 undead at your doorstep. Judging by past events, I might normally have faith in your ability to deal with the situation. But it would appear the undead have stepped up their game a bit. How's that? The factions in this city, under the authorization of the Council, are working on a new synthetic blood. The project is headed by the Taka Corporation under the codename Nemesis. Okay, Nemesis. Neural embryonic morphine immortal synthetic immune something or other. I don't <laughs> fully understand it, but I do know it makes the kindred even more powerful, much stronger with increased senses and the ability to morph into any organic creature. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's not. And when I heard of this, I thought it might be in your best interest to pay a visit to see for yourself. Possibly delay or even destroy production of this new blood before the enhanced undead appear at your gates. Okay. You couldn't have uh, given me a call? Maybe sent a plane ticket? It wouldn't have worked. With the new blood drug coursing through the undead's black veins, they can sense any hunter cells nearby. You would undoubtedly be detected immediately if you were not in this form. Okay. Starting to understand. The only solution was to place you into a telekinetic vessel. This is where Miko's talents come in. You should be safe from suspicion now, allowing you to move freely among the sect using only your mind and Miko's magic. Cool. All right, sort of makes sense, I guess. Oh, and you will undoubtedly notice that insatiable feeling of thirst for blood. I'm afraid that the authenticity was a necessity. So, of course, this vessel is a blood feeder. Great. Okay, all right. So I'm here. Now what? Taka Corp rented some space in Chinatown in a back room of a local herbal store. The space is probably being used for a lab of some sort. It's not their main lab, but it's still something worth checking out. All right, where is it at? Chinatown. You can get to it through the large doors at the north end of this warehouse. But not so fast, since getting inside the lab section will most likely be tricky. How do I get in? Giggler. Giggler, huh? Sounds like a real fun guy. Not exactly. In fact, he's just plain crazy. But unfortunately, someone you're going to have to meet. Giggler is the leader of the Bogata clan, and for whatever reason, Taka Corp is using him as their main guinea pig and test subject in their new blood trials giving him access to some of their restricted areas. So let me guess, I'd sneak in and steal his key. Taka Corp's security is a bit more advanced than that. Giggler probably enters the lab like other Taka employees, using a retina eye scanner. So I will leave it to your imagination on how you're going to make that happen. Okay. He's got two eyes and I only need one. Shouldn't be too hard. Where is he? He's in the Bogata hideout. It's a warehouse converted from an old deep dungeon uncovered under the city years ago. The entrance is behind a large metal garage at the end of the first alley in Chinatown. Deep dungeon, huh? Let me guess. Giggler is not going to be on the first floor, is he? Not likely. In fact, finding him probably won't be easy. His office is deep and possibly hidden. Better brush up on your intimidate skill and then find a guard to interrogate and set up a meeting with Giggler. It's probably the only way you will ever find him. Okay, intimidate. We can do that. Let's take a look at our character traits right now. Intimidate. Uh, I guess our persuasion skill, hey? Huh? That'd be my guess. Alright, cool. Well, we have our quest here. Let's um, see how far we can get. Moving on. Check these rooms. What's this? Fast travel map. Okay, cool. We've only got the one location so far. Nice to know that there's fast travel. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, 
open stash. Okay, so we can hide some stuff in here, I guess. Keep some stuff for later. Let's put our bayonet in there. And we can stash that. And our axe. Keep this stuff on us. Uh, we have another identity scroll here. What were we going to use that on? Let's do the um, emerald amulet. Oops. No, let's keep this. Hold on. Uh, close that. Use this. Requires a charisma. A plus five intelligence. Okay. There we go. And our intelligence just got a big boost. Cool. So can we change our... It says we can change our class. I'm not sure how to do that, though. We got some resistance to fires. Nothing to silver. A little bit to light. Cool. Uh, we need to drink uh, some more blood, though. Our thirst is getting kind of... Kind of high. Hey, you. Over here. What's up? Nothing much. Hey, haven't I seen you around before? Wait, your face. Yes. I do know you. But I thought you were dead. Nah, I'm probably just having one of those faces, huh? Yeah, maybe. You looking for some action? Or just your next victim? Always looking for blood, but some action might be nice too. There's a poker game going on inside. Oh. Nah, I won't play with those guys. Those crooks cheated a solid gold ring out of my finger. I had the perfect little straight flush. East to the five, all the way. But no, he said dark Chinatown rules. With aces only counting in high straights. Those guys are thieves. Huh. Sounds harsh. Yeah, it was. That ring had sentimental value. It was the first ring I ever stole. <laughs> okay, I better get going. Do you know anything about the strange symbols on the walls and the sewers? I the colors. Yeah, it's an amulet, but it's really mostly just a legend. It's supposed to allow the wearer to enter into locked secret passages, leading to the Guardians of the Eye. If the Guardians are destroyed, their essence will charge the amulet, and the amulet, when charged, will prevent the regeneration of health to powerful vampires. Of course, no one knows where the amulet is, or if it actually exists. Okay. Interesting. Dead end. Okay, back to the main quest. Got a little bit more information about uh, some symbols. Bugatta only. Keep out. All right, well, here we go. All right, so we got our bite out here. Uh, no, I guess I have to talk to them. Uh, I wasn't taking anything. Wait, who are you? You're not Bugatta. What are you doing sneaking up on people like that? You scared me. Don't worry, I'm not going into your business. Oh, good. But keep it down, huh? If the Bugatta catch me in here scavenging through their stuff, I'm burnt dust. You might want to get out of here too since you don't look like you belong here either. Why is that? The Bugatta clan are using this dungeon as a warehouse to store ingredients for some sort of secret synthetic blood they're developing. This place is crawling with guards and they can smell intruders easily. Especially with that new crazy black nectar they're drinking. Synthetic blood? It's supposed to be better than the real thing. I don't know since I've never touched the fake stuff. I prefer my blood warm and dirty. I'm just in here because some of the bioproducts from the process are worth some major dinero. Not to mention the amount of weapons they have in this place could probably guard against the raid of the council itself, if necessary. What kind of weapons? This entire dungeon is a huge burial chamber where thousands of weapons were buried with the fallen warriors from centuries past. Some are even supposedly enchanted with magic. I don't think the Bugatti give a crap about any of that, though. They're just using this dungeon as a place to hide blood. Sounds interesting. But I will let you get back to your scavenging. Oh yeah, one more thing. Watch out for the pits around here. If you get too close, you'll fall down into the next level. No warning or anything. Of course, that's where the good loot is. But it can be hard to find a way out once you go deeper than floor one. And there's also some pretty strong creatures down there, too. Well, that might be where our... A little teleport uh, skill might come in handy. Alright, so. Or our warp skill, I should say. Cool. 
Oh, I guess uh I guess it started. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah, I'm in one shot. Alright, lockpick. Uh, trading card, ghostly talents. What's all this? <laughs> cool. Okay, lockpicks. Nice. Let's open up the stash. Okay, so that's our, that's our stash there. Cool. Oh god, I fell into a pit, I think. <laughs> I think I fell into one of the pits. That she just warned me about. Yep. Okay, so. Let's try our warp. Let's see if we can get back up there. Warp distance too far. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we are looking down here. For a way out. Uh, click to smash the barrel. Looks like it's got a pipe bottle on it though. I don't know if I want to. Oh, here, let's try this. Let's try our our gaze. Let's see if we can affect that. Uh, let's go right there. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, onward we go. Uh, access card required. Well, we don't have an access card. We have a trading card. That's another pit. Let's avoid that. Into the dungeons. See a person there. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, so those are apparently... Some sort of, uh, cannon. Oh god. Get him! Oh my god. Alright, some sort of knife that we have to identify. Stay away from that. Another one. Let's creep around. A snatcher steals inventory items. Can I bite him? <laughs> nope. Get up. You stole my stuff. Oh. Ah, oh, snake. Oh, oh snap, oh snap. This isn't good. Give me my stuff back. Oh jeez. <laughs> 48 health. Alright, did we get our stuff back here? Ski goggles. That wasn't ours. What can you do with ski goggles? Plus 8 armor. Okay, I'll wear it. A smoke bomb. No, it's another uh, guard there. Ooh, there's a couple. Ooh. Ooh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> He's summoning stuff. Hold on, hold on. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's bite this one. Victim. Hey. Hey, he's over here! Drink! <laughs> Can we... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Alright, we got one sire, so... If I... Keep going here... Uh, sired. Okay, cool. So let's summon them. Alright, we got two now. Alright, let's go get them. We got backup now. And I got more health. Oh my god. Ooh, beat them. Uh, a key, okay. Cool. Come this way, let's get this snatcher. Nice. Spirit Force. Let's check our inventory again here. What new stuff do we have? Alright, a couple uh, more knives. No more identity scrolls, though. Or identify scrolls, so... Nice, good job. Vampire amulet. Emerald amulet. Epic. Cool. Plus 5 intelligence, 0.5 life regeneration per second, 3 fire resistance. Well, let's wear this one. Alright, on. Oh, and we got a level up too. Okay, what we got here? We got uh, five more stat points. So, all right, this is the intimidation one. So let's pour it all into here. Cool. We have one skill point. Let's put that into our warp. And let's see our sire tree. Alright, neither of them are, are leveled up yet, hey? Alright, cool. Oh, there's another guy over there. I don't know if there's gonna be this, like stuff inside here. Or it's just like a little bit of a smoke. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, there's an identity scroll. So some of these guys transform. Can I destroy this thing? Oh jeez. Leatherhead. So they can explode. Oh, I see they have pipe bombs on them. My bad. Gas mask. Oh, cool. Lots of stuff. Garlic does less damage while wearing this. Uh, plus six armor. Okay, a bit better than what we have. All right, let's, um, ooh, a legendary Firestone Amulet. Wow, that's got some good stats. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's wear that one instead. Okay, uh, let's call it a day here. Um, but, uh, I'm interested in playing some more of this. Seems like we've just scratched the surface. So let me know what you guys think down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. We'd like to see some more Bloodlust. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.